Here's the patient. It's a uh, no harmony guitar, wide body. I guess they call it a jumbo. I really don't know what the term they used for it was, but it's a wide body. It won't fit in a normal dreadnought case. I've already put a top in this old guitar. It started out as a birch top and and uh, just an old cheap guitar. And I've got it sounding like I want it, but I don't like the neck. It's just too too big and thick and and wide and so I'm gonna I'm gonna do something about that. That's that's what this video is gonna be about. So the first thing I want to do is take the strings off of it. And you may wonder what in the world is this fella spending the time to work on this old hundred dollar guitar. That's pretty smart of you to think that because I'm wondering that myself. But it's not the uh, I'm not doing this to charge somebody, just mainly to get this guitar where it feels comfortable in my hand. And what I plan to do is to, this binding's real thin. I'm gonna remove the binding and make the neck that much more narrow than it is and thin the back of it down. It's just a big feeling neck. It might feel good to a lot of folks, but uh, it's just a little bit big to suit my hand. We're gonna take this little narrow chisel, run down through here. Not, not hard going, it's coming off pretty easy. All right, we got this thing raised up. Yeah. Here's the neck uh, pretty much shaped up. It's, it's a whole lot rounder. It's got a round shape to it. Feels pretty good to my, to my hand. I may do some fine tuning from that, but that's, that's generally about the way it's gonna be. We got this neck uh, <coughs> Pretty well shaped up. Here's some little templates I've made off of a Martin blueprint I've got. And that's at the 10th fret from a Martin neck. That's pretty darn close there. And this is the first fret. A little bit of touching up. I believe that'll be ready to put some stain on and a little finish on it and call it done. Here's the neck after I've uh, finished it, got it sanded down and smoothed down and ready to put some stain on it. Probably doesn't look much different, but it's, uh, it feels different to my hands, so that's what matters. Well, here's a shot of the, uh, the neck after we put some stain on it. We got this old Harmony guitar in the 
in our little paint booth and uh, got a couple of coats of shellac on it and we're putting some lacquer on the neck now. Here's a little clip of uh, showing this guitar after I put the finish on the neck. And of course it's got a lot more gloss than the old finish did and I'll I'll dull that down. I don't want it to look like it's new. And this is some 600 grit uh, sandpaper. Wet or dry. And we're going to knock a little bit of this gloss off. We're going to hit this neck with a little bit of rubbing compound. Try to bring some of that gloss back. Here's the neck after we got done with it. Now, since we uh, took the binding off and thinned this neck down a little bit, we're going to have to work on the, the edge of these frets. At this point, we're going to work on these corners of these frets. This is a little safe edge file that uh, came from Stuart McDonald, and that just takes that sharp corner off. And as Mr. Frank Ford said, Whatever you do to one, you just go down through there and do it to all of them. Now we're going to take some, this is 400 sandpaper here. And we're just going to go down through here with our fingers and, and smooth the ends of these up a little bit more. Now we're going to uh, put some of this 400 grit paper on this little piece of uh, art gun and we're going to work a little bit more on the rounding this edge over here's a shot of the this old harmony after i put the keys back on it and the nut on it and the strings on it well we're going to put some uh, mineral oil on this fingerboard Get these strings out of the way, keep from having to take them all the way off. That gets them out of the way. And we'll String it back up. And there's the finished product. 